Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Anthony Sinelli, and I'm uh, with our Global Specialty Sales Organization, and I am here with... Drew Schulke. Uh, I lead our product management team for Dell's primary storage business. So, Anthony, I'm really excited about this topic today. Um, you know, you spend a lot of time with customers that are dealing with these petabyte level scale deployments of block storage. And, you know, for us on the product side, there's sort of three attributes of a storage system that we're always, you know, trying to find the right balance and tension amongst them. And, you know, I have them written on the board here is, first is this idea of resiliency. It's your storage system, it's block storage, that's obviously going to be critical data. How do we guarantee a level of uptime and, and resiliency through any sort of disruption that might happen? There's an efficiency component, like I'm, I'm storing petabytes. Like how do I do that in the smallest physical footprint with the least amount of storage, taking advantage of you know, the efficiency of the storage? And then there's performance. Um, you know, a lot of our customers are running very important databases on this where like OLTP-based kind of performance, millisecond you know, level response times, very, very important. But I'd add to it, you know, in the midst of all this tension, what's interesting is we're talking about petabyte scale. All of these have to work at scale uh, for that to be effective. And what I'm excited about here today, and, and really I'm looking forward to your feedback about how you think this is going to change the nature of your conversations with a lot of our customers, is what we're introducing with PowerFlex Ultra. And, and at the core of PowerFlex Ultra is this scalable availability engine which is a breakthrough way of doing erasure coding for native block storage, something that's not really been done to date by anybody in the industry. We're the first to get there building upon the existing architecture that we have already in place with, with PowerFlex. And what's exciting about this is on the resiliency side, because of the way we're doing that erasure coding, you know, we're gonna see resiliency numbers um, getting up to 10 nines which is an unheard of level of uptime from an industry perspective. On the efficiency side, we're going to see a 3x improvement in the amount of effective capacity per system. And on the performance side, what's great about all this, the heritage that we have in PowerFlex with its scale out, shared nothing architecture, every performance attribute of the system gets better the larger I grow the system. Throughput, IOPS, perform, you know, latency, everything gets better. So we still have that great, you know, linear scaling. So no worries, no compromising, but we're actually going to get greater performance per node. So it's like the best of both worlds. And, you know, Every node's going to get better, but the, every time I add a node, I'm going to have very predictable performance. So, I, Anthony, I would love to get your take on you know, how this changes the game of the conversations that you're going to have with your customers for these petabyte scale block storage opportunities. Awesome. Thanks, Drew. Um, yeah, look, I, I'm incredibly excited for this PowerFlex Ultra release and, and bringing this scalable availability engine to market because it really is a technology breakthrough, right? No one's ever done true erasure coding at the native block level. And this is just something that's so unique. And for me, like technology is awesome, right? Like I love technology, but it only really matters if it solves a customer problem. And what I'd like to take a minute and do is highlight like for these large scale, petabyte scale customers, as they think about solving for resiliency, efficiency, and performance at those larger scales, the problem that we're finding, Drew, is they really only get two out of the three. That's right. And let's look at why and how. So again, today's typical customer, they'll say, all right, I need a storage array. And in that storage array, I've got some of my storage capacity. And they think about how much capacity do I need? The problem is with a controller-based storage array, there's really only so much capacity you can fit, right? So you end up with some amount of capacity in this environment. But when you're dealing with customers who think about their block storage and petabytes, they don't just need one of these arrays. They need two, five, 10, in some cases, 50 or more of these controller-based arrays spread across their data center. And the problem that we have is every one of these arrays represents a silo of data, of data yep. a silo of capacity. So as they're starting to think about how do they balance across their environment, how do they utilize all that storage, 
while they might have situations where this array is really full, but this array is not, or this array is not, and this array is full. So in order to take advantage of all that storage, what do you do? You, you have to sit here and you know Constantly. move data around, migrate it, try to make utilize, you know, try to make effective utilization of all that capacity. That requires lots of humans, and that requires lots of risk because now you're taking what you mentioned, core block storage, which typically means it's servicing some of the most important applications in the data center, right. and you're moving it around all over the network. The problem is no one actually does it because of that. So what you end up with is arrays that are highly utilized, arrays that are very low utilized, and when you do that across the data center, you end up in this situation where the amount of storage you've purchased, you're only utilizing a very, very, very small amount of it. So there's tons of waste everywhere. But capacity is only part of what you gotta manage. That's right. There's another piece here. There's also performance, right? So as customers think about how do I manage capacity on an array, they also need to think about what performance envelope am I asking that array to solve? So you might have some arrays that have very little capacity but are very high in their performance utilization. Or other arrays that are, are low on capacity and low on performance, or high and high and vice versa. So you're ending up in the exact same situation where now you're also needing to think about how do I balance my performance requirements across that environment. Again, if you have one or two arrays, maybe, not a big deal. 50. But when you have 50, that's pain, right? That's risk. Now you really need to think about do I have humans spending their day moving data around in order to balance across my storage environment? Or in real world, you end up doing nothing and you end up with tremendous amounts of waste, tremendous amounts of complexity across the data center. Yeah. And physical sprawl as well. Physical sprawl, absolutely. You, know, you think about the ramifications of power, cooling, um, underutilization, the, the, the maintenance costs, the, the migration, refresh, et cetera. Controller swaps, I mean, multiply that by 50, it becomes really, really, really problematic. And look, we know how to solve this, right? And with PowerFlex, we've been solving this for years by implementing a true scale out block storage architecture. And in doing so, I eliminate all these silos, I eliminate all my underutilization, and I now can create a shared pool of block storage that I can manage as a single resource and scale out as I need to, allowing me to drive up my utilization, which reduces cost, reduces power, cooling complexity, everything. Yeah. PowerFlex Ultra takes this and it amps it up by factors of a million. Because now I'm taking that core value prop that PowerFlex always delivered and using this brand new scalable availability engine with that erasure coding architecture built natively for block storage, I can now take what was that PowerFlex value prop and now I can make it way denser and way more efficient, getting 3x the effective capacity out of the same physical footprint than I had before. I can do that while redefining resiliency because of the erasure coded architecture and how that can, can handle multiple failures simultaneously exactly. across the cluster, I can now take my resiliency and skyrocket it. And then lastly, as you mentioned, PowerFlex has always been known for its linear scalable performance. Yeah. The scalable availability engine takes that and amplifies it up even more by keeping that same linear scale, but increasing the amount of performance we can get per node, allowing you to get even denser with how you yeah. uh, architect and solve for that storage environment. So you put it all together. What does PowerFlex Ultra really enable? Very simple. It enables scalable architecture. It enables consolidation. And that's really the key, right? It's how do I go to my existing block storage architecture that's defined by massive amounts of sprawl, massive amounts of complexity and underutilized assets. Yep. And how do I truly consolidate with confidence? Because what PowerFlex Ultra enables me to do is solve for resiliency, deliver game-breaking efficiency with game-changing performance, all at a completely redefined scale so the largest customers on the planet can simplify their data center and truly consolidate with confidence. Yeah. All because of PowerFlex Ultra and the exciting breakthrough that its scalable availability engine represents. Yeah. So, 
I think you're going to have a lot of great conversations with our customers on this, Anthony. So we appreciate everybody's time today to get this kind of brief primer into PowerFlex Ultra. Stay tuned. We'll be talking a lot more about this in the coming weeks. Thanks, everyone.